A citywide vigil taking place last night for Joshua Barrick, Thomas Elliott, Juliana Farmer, James Tutt, and Deanna Eckert. Loved ones are paying their final respects to Thomas Elliott today, ahead of his funeral tomorrow. It's happening at Pearson Funeral Home on Breckenridge Lane. That's where we find ABC 36's Paxton Boyd with more on how people are remembering the 63-year-old. Paxton. Erica, an overwhelming sense of sadness here in Louisville tonight. The city still reeling from that deadly mass shooting on Monday morning that claimed the lives of five people. Behind me, visitation for one of those victims, 63-year-old Tommy Elliott, a friend of many Kentucky lawmakers and Governor Bashir. A quiet Monday morning in downtown Louisville. Turning into a scene of chaos and carnage. Police say 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon opened fire with an AR-15 at Old National Bank, where he was an employee. Among the five victims, 63-year-old Tommy Elliott, a businessman and friend to many, including several Kentucky lawmakers. Tommy was a great man. Tommy touched a lot of lives. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. The stunning loss turning personal for Governor Andy Bashir. You know, this, this person murdered my friend. Governor Bashir recalling the moment he received the news in an interview with CNN. You actually were the one who called his wife to let her know. She deserved to know. I've been governor during this pandemic. I've been governor during tornadoes and floods. We've lost a lot of people during those, but calling your friend's wife, who's also your friend, to tell her that her husband is gone is um, amongst the hardest things I have ever done. But at the same time, she deserved to know. The governor calling for a red flag law after Monday's shooting that left five people dead, including his friend. I believe we can respect and honor people's Second Amendment rights to protect themselves and their family, but at the same time, at least take a step so that we can intervene when we know somebody's about to go out and murder a whole bunch of people. Listen, I know people will say that wouldn't have stopped this situation, and it probably wouldn't have. But maybe it will the next one. I don't want another family to go through this.